Three, two, one. What sets the best leaders apart from the rest? It's not just their charisma or the ability to inspire. It's their mastery of one simple truth. Data doesn't lie. In the modern workplace, people analytics has become the ultimate cheat code, turning raw information into actionable insights that shape the future of teams and organizations. But here's the kicker. Having access to data isn't enough. The real edge comes when you have a system, a resource, a library that makes finding and using that data as easy as breathing. Welcome to The Office Ninja, the podcast that sharpens your professional edge and equips you with the strategies to excel. I'm Vaughn, and today we're diving into why every HR leader and young professional needs to build People Analytics Resource Library, your backstage pass to smarter decisions, faster solutions, and undeniable credibility. Let's start with the basics. What is a People Analytics Resource Library? Think of it as your digital or physical treasure trove of knowledge. Everything from dashboards, reports, templates, to articles and case studies on HR data and analytics. It's not just a collection, it is a strategic hub that empowers you to make informed decisions, solve real business problems, and speak the language of data fluently. Now you might ask, why invest time in building this? Let me break it down to you. First, it elevates your credibility. Imagine having quick access to turnover rates engagement scores, or predictive analytics on flight risk. When you bring data to the table, you transition from being just another voice in the room to becoming a trusted advisor. Second, it streamlines decision-making. Think about the hours wasted searching through emails or random folders for that one report from six months ago. A resource library eliminates this chaos, offering centralized access to what you need when you need it. Finally, it future-proofs your team. HR and leadership aren't static. They evolve constantly. A well-maintained resource library ensures your team stays updated on the latest trends from diversity metrics to AI-driven workforce planning. So how do you start? I'll break it into three simple steps. Step 1. Audit your existing resources. Take inventory of all the reports, templates, and tools scattered across your organization. Identify what's valuable and what needs an update. Step 2. Create a structure. Think about usability. Use folders, tags, or even cloud-based platforms to organize resources by categories like recruitment, engagement, performance, and attrition. And Step 3. Make it dynamic. A resource library isn't a set-it-and-forget-it project. Assign someone to curate and update it regularly. Make it a living, breathing asset. Let me interrupt today's episode for some announcements from some of our friends. Welcome to the 8th Philippine HR Assembly, happening on March 21, 2025 at the Royce Hotel Clark, Pampanga exclusive power pack HR event driving innovation, leadership, and the future of work, with thought leaders speaking from the following, and many, many more. Register now. Now back to our episode. And here's a pro tip. Encourage knowledge sharing. Let your team contribute by adding resources or insights they've gathered from conferences, webinars, or even their own projects. This not only enriches your library, but fosters a culture of collaboration and learning. And let's not forget accessibility. Ensure your library is easy to use for everyone, whether they are in HR, leadership, or any other department needing people insights. Young leaders and HR practitioners, building a people analytics resource library isn't just a task. It's a strategy. It's your secret weapon to stay ahead, empower your team, and drive meaningful change in your organization. 
So are you ready to unlock the full potential of people analytics? The best time to start was yesterday. The second best time, today. That wraps up this episode of The Office Ninja. If you found today's insights valuable, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss an episode. Spread the word to fellow HR leaders and young professionals who are ready to level up their game. And as always, here's your constant reminder to keep in mind what truly matters. Always, always, always prioritize your inner peace. Thank you.